this glass got broken last night I uh, just found out this morning it was broken and uh, we were playing around with a water bottle and somebody threw a water bottle and it just this was down and that was really broken and that hit it or something or it just hit it in the right spot I guess and, and it broke that's how easy those glass can break and uh, these are really flimsy glass so you can see oops you can see it's, it breaks pretty easily so I'm not trying to replace it um, I'm going to go to Home Depot or to a glass store right now it's Sunday so I don't know if I can get glass I can call a glass company to do it but um, I'm not trying to do it myself so I'm, I'm going to take some measurements and I want to make sure that I get some precise measurements the precise measurement I want to remove that stuff right here that's what, that's what it really just hold the glass in after they paste it in so you're, when you're replacing the glass you're going to have to buy something to put that in normally you can use the glue and just put some glue and just finish it nicely there and that's what I think I might do if I kind of get that plastic molding we have the molding taken up so we can, we can get a true measurement of what size glass that we're looking for the ledge up there so you want to make sure you have that ledge behind it so that's what you're going to make sure that you on that ledge this Thirty-four and an eighth is thirty-four and an eighth by forty-five and an eighth. So that should give us what we want. So we're gonna run to Home Depot, and when we come back, we'll move from there. We'll remove all the pieces. You can see it's just glued in at the back here. So what I'm gonna get at, at Home Depot is is the glue. Um, some kind of white glue or whatever called gray. I'm look for gray glue, and I'm gonna get see if I can get this. Replace it with this. Um, the molding. If I can get the molding, and then we'll go from there. But I went to Home Depot. I got this. This this costs about twenty six dollars for a sheet of three by four. So I need to cut it down thirty four and an eighth by forty five and an eighth. The things you're gonna need, you're gonna need a nice straight edge, like like here. Uh, I did go ahead and pick up a knife. Right in the area, if you find the plexiglass, they have the knife selling right there. Um, you can also use a nice sharp blade if you have, if that's what you have. You just need to really, really scotch, just scotch it. That's all you really need to do before you break it in place. Guys, measure twice, cut one. That's what my father told me once. As you really want to use the safety first, I should have said that early on. You want to use your some some glove because this this will cut as much as um we're gonna mark it first few marks. I want to go probably ten times to get a good deep groove in there. Nice groove there, and then put my safety goggles. This edge is not as that's it, guys. I didn't get the molding that I wanted. They don't sell the molding in the store. Um, piece of cake, but I, I do have my silicone made especially for that. So, in everything, it costs like about 50 bucks to get everything I need to replace that. So now, I'm gonna go inside and knock that out. I have my gloves on, uh, my eye protection, and I'm gonna try to get all that out of there, and then we can start replacing. So the next thing we want to do is to clean up around the edges, make sure there's no pieces of glass or any obstruction so that the, the, the glass can fit nicely on there. So just take out any extra pieces. 
Ga ze even tronderen. Oké, okay, so now we have that. We're gonna try the pexi glass to see how it fits in there. Put the bottom in. And guys, it looks like we have a good fit all around. That is really good. So. Now that we know we have that, I'm gonna peel the plastic. So we have our, our silicone for plastic sheet. If you, if you, if you don't want a gun or if you have a time to buy a gun, you can buy the, those that comes in the little containers that you can squeeze with your hands. You don't really need a lot up there. Put just a small bit of, of cork right on the ledge up there, and that's what we're gonna press against to hold it in there. So we have our area nice and clean. We don't want to put too much, right? It's gonna, it's gonna fall off, so just a little. Just a little bit. Just take your time and just gently. Let it so we're gonna put the bottom in first. And then we just gently gonna push everything in and just I should make it really watertight. Just let it dry, let it set, and then I guess you have a window. Guys, this is Charlie, um, another home project. Like and subscribe and all. Right now I'm gonna start putting in my sprinkler for my garden. Charlie, I'm out. The project is done. Um, it's gonna clean up a bit. Everything came out really good. The plexiglass look. Plexiglass look really good in there. 